truthfully and honestly about your mom's spring cleaning and her fantasies of independence. And See, all the women are like, ooh, my favorite one too. <laughs> And, and you write about, you know, what you imagine is what she imagines about this possibility of a different life, independent from our obligations as wife and mother. So if you, ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Obama read, reading a passage from her very own book. Just as I never wondered what it was like for my mother to be a full-time at-home mother, I, ne I never wondered then what it meant to be married. I took my parents' union for granted. It was a simple, solid fact upon which all four of our lives were built. Much later, my mother would tell me that every year when spring came and the air warmed up in Chicago, she entertained thoughts about leaving my father. I don't know if these thoughts were actually serious or not. I don't know if she considered the idea for an hour or for a day or for most of the season. But for her, it was an active fantasy, something that felt healthy, and maybe even energizing to ponder, almost as ritual. I understand now that even a happy marriage can be a vexation, that it's a contract best renewed and renewed again, even quietly and privately, even alone. I don't think my mother announced whatever her doubts and discontents were to my father directly, and I don't think she let him in on whatever alternative life she might have been dreaming about during those times. Was she picturing herself on a tropical island somewhere, with a different kind of man, or in a different kind of house, or with a corner office instead of kids? I don't know. And I suppose I could ask my mother, who is now in her 80s, but I don't think it matters. I, I think I love that passage for a lot of reasons. First of all, just your willingness to write about it. I think it's yet one more reason that makes this memoir very different um, than others, but also because I think it's just so relatable that women, you know, of all walks of life can, can from all walks of life, can identify with that, with that fantasy because marriage and commitment, when you really care, it's, it's hard. it's hard, it's a long road. I mean, well, if you really, you know, and it, It's also amazing, and I, I think from a parenting perspective, that, you know, as we got older, this is how my parents, they would be honest with us. So about when did she feelings. share that with you? I was, uh, you I, I was in my 20s. I was, you know, I, I, was, I was older. Um, uh, you know, sort of ready not to hear that your mom, you want to leave every spring, mom? Really? <laughs> It would, it would change the meaning of spring like <laughs> and you hear this. So she, she had the presence of mind not to share that until I was much older and could understand the broader implications of it. Um, 